Okay, come on, admit it. Do you ever have those mornings where you wake up feeling blah or maybe worse? Suffering from the effects of overindulging the night before and the night before that and maybe the night before that. Well, we've all been there. So whether you've consumed a bit more alcohol than you should have or just aren't feeling that pep in your step, maybe the sleep wasn't a great night, there are a few tricks to get your body back on track. Here's my number one trick that's probably going to surprise you. Start your day off drinking hydrogen-rich water. Now, this is not the same as alkaline water. In fact, not even close. Alkaline water has a higher pH. True. And a lot of people assume that higher pH is because of the dissolved hydrogen. But here's the problem. Hydrogen gas is the world's smallest molecule. And hydrogen gas diffuses through plastic instantaneously. So if you just bought that wonderful alkaline water at the health food store or even the grocery store, and it's in plastic, you're not getting any hydrogen in your water. Even if you got it in a glass or aluminum container, usually the cap is made out of plastic and it'll diffuse right out of there. So what do you do? Quite frankly, you get yourself some hydrogen water tablets and you make it instantaneously. You get a great fizzy drink and you drink it down. Why does hydrogen work? Well, it actually hydrates you. Hydrogen tablets contain magnesium in an absorbable form and they reduce muscle fatigue and they actually boost your mind. Studies have shown that it actually improves your mental clarity and your ability to concentrate, a lot of which you really need after one of those nights. Now, there's even been a study done on hydrogen water and hangover symptoms. This study looked at the impact of hydrogen water and hydrogen gas on alleviating, alleviating hangover symptoms. They actually took 20 healthy volunteers and were randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. They basically got them drunk and participants inhaled hydrogen gas or a placebo and drank hydrogen-infused water. They had significantly lower breath alcohol concentrations and reported far less symptoms of hangovers. Cool. Good news, they actually improved their cognition scores compared to the placebo. Now, keep in mind, I am not suggesting that you'd get drunk to test this out, nor am I suggesting that you routinely consume alcohol and then bail yourself off by drinking hydrogen water. But it is good to know in that extreme setting that hydrogen water had a very beneficial effect. Now, you have to drink hydrogen water that you make with hydrogen tablets fairly quickly because the hydrogen actually evaporates out of the water. But you've got about 10, 20 minutes to get it in, and you really don't need much water to do it. All right, tip number two, get yourself a sugar-free electrolyte powder. One of the effects of overeating and over drinking or not sleeping is a dehydration effect. Uh, most people notice when particularly they're drinking beer that they spend a lot of time going to the bathroom and that's because beer in particular has a very dehydrating effect. What you don't know oftentimes is that you're not only just losing water but you're losing electrolytes. And if you live in the southern or western United States, particularly in the summer, uh, for that matter, all over the United States now, it gets hot. And you lose a lot of important electrolytes, not only sodium and chloride, but also magnesium through sweating in your skin. And so replacing that with a sugar-free electrolyte drink is a really good idea. Now, as you know, I like LMNTs, 
pronounced element. It's got lots of cool flavors. There's no sugar or artificial sweeteners. My wife is addicted to it. In fact, she adds it to her morning coffee. Additionally, I like Vital Recharge, my electrolyte drink. And so lots of ways to enjoy getting electrolytes back in your system. Third tip, spirulina and chlorella. Now, there are multiple reasons why this helps. First of all, both spirulina and chlorella are algaes that are loaded with nutrients. In fact, NASA is convinced that algae is the answer to world hunger. Algae is just a nutrient powerhouse in a little bitty tablet. Now, one of the best things about these compounds is that they have the ability to bind to and remove heavy metals and toxins from the body. Where are we getting that? Well, uh, you have to be without any, (laughs) you might live on a tropical island. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, all contain unnaturally high levels of harmful substances. For instance, spirulina has been shown to reduce arsenic levels in humans. A study showed that 250 milligrams of spirulina, which isn't much, folks, plus two milligrams of zinc two times a day for 16 weeks was an effective treatment for chronic arsenic poisoning. Good news. Good news, a study looking at six human subjects found that consuming chlorella before drinking alcohol reduced ethanol in the blood and breath along with reducing acetaldehyde, basically embalming fluid. Believe it or not, the reason you feel awful and get a headache after drinking alcohol is the formation of acetaldehyde and formaldehyde, and that basically is embalming you. Not a good idea. Why not? Before heading out, take a few tablets of chlorella and spirulina before that night, but use it afterwards to absorb these compounds. Algae supports gut and immune health. It's also really good for slowing aging, and there's several studies showing it promotes longevity. Now, for more information on spirulina and chlorella, check out my episodes with Katherine Arnston on Energy Bits on right here on YouTube. Finally, take a shot of apple cider vinegar or other vinegars. Why would you do that? Well, it's a really easy way to get a short-chain fatty acid that's essential for your health and well-being called acetic acid. And we need acetic acid to make butyrate. Now, if those of you who've been reading my books know that butyrate is really the holy grail, not only of gut health, but also of our mitochondrial health, our brain health, you name it, this is the good stuff. Also, vinegars, whether it's apple cider vinegar, whether it's balsamic vinegar, whether it's red wine vinegar, contain polyphenols. And if you've been watching, you know that polyphenols in and of themselves are one of the most important compounds for improving mitochondrial health, improving mitochondrial biogenesis, making more of them, and improving mitochondrial repair. And one of the reasons you feel so bad after a night out is you've done a number on hurting your mitochondria. Now, how about the mother? You see apple cider vinegar with the mother. Well, the mother is literally the dead bodies of yeast and bacteria. Now, what's so cool is that these dead bodies, if you've read my new book, Gut Check, actually communicate with the other bacteria in our gut and send them important messages. Among other things, it actually calms the immune system down. It makes it less hyper excitable. Easiest way is to take a shot of it. You can even buy shots of apple cider vinegar now. Personally, 
I like to take balsamic vinegar and combine it with sparkling water like San Pellegrino and make a fake Coke. And it tastes great and improves your health rather than the real thing. Finally, carbon dioxide in itself, like in San Pellegrino or sparkling water, believe it or not, has important health benefits that I talked about in the energy paradox. Carbon dioxide actually dilates your blood vessels and carbon dioxide actually improves neuron function in your brain and you will absorb that carbon dioxide in your sparkling water. One of the reasons we now know that breath work works is actually by increasing your levels of carbon dioxide. So why not just drink your breath work? So have some sparkling water. And while you're doing it, go ahead and put the apple cider vinegar or balsamic vinegar in and make it flavorful. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. Putting all those other wonderful things to make coffee delicious, like in a frappuccino, that is just a giant sugar bomb that has no health benefit whatsoever. Alternatives, hey, learn to drink coffee black.